Hello there guys! For today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a fake water drops on a surface in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into using the gradient tool, using elliptical marketing tool, gradient tool, applying inner shadow, applying drop shadow, changing blend modes, and grouping of layers. So let's get started! So here are our document. I already prepared here an image where we are going to create our fake water drop effect. So the first step we're going to do here is we're going to create a new layer. So to do that, going on to the bottom right corner on our screen, find this one. This is the create a layer. Just click on this icon. Okay, so once we did that, we already create a new layer. Now let's rename this one as water droplets. The next step I'm going to do here is we're going to create a selection with the use of a marketing tool. So where to find that? So I'm going here in the toolbar, go into the second tool, first second, right click on it. And under rectangular marketing tool is the elliptical marketing tool. This is a selection to create round selection. Now, I'm going to select on the water drops layer. Once I select that, I'm going to create a selection on this area something like this and by the way if you find this video helpful so far please consider subscribing to help youtube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us now i'm going to zoom this one in for us to see it detailedly all right so with this selection i'm going to select on the water droplets now this time i'm going to select on the gradient tool all right so going here on the um, toolbar so the gradient tool looks like this symbol Okay, so click on it or press G for the shortcut key. Now, going up here for the options, make sure that you're going to tick on the linear gradient. Okay, and for the options, just click on this. So this gradient editor window will, will appear. So go to basic and go to the third one, this one. Click on it and then select. Okay, now I'm going to apply it on our selection. So something like this. So I'm going to click and drag it to create something like this. So there's a shadow on it, as you have noticed. Okay. So let's do it once again. So click and drag it, just only the half. Okay. So to create something like this. Now I'm going to deselect this one. Press Control plus D to deselect. Now the selection is gone. Now selected on the water droplets. Let's change its blend mode. Going here on top, just click this arrow down, and then change this one to overlay i'm also going to apply here effects so i'm going to right click on the water droplets and find the blending options so this layer style window will appear okay so the first effect that we're gonna apply here is the inner shadows so you have to tick this one okay so once i tick that we create a shadow and also click on the inner shadow for the adjustments so for the blend mode i'm gonna Change this one to linear burn. For the opacity, I'm gonna set this one to 40. For the angles, I'm gonna set this one to negative 30. And then I'm going to untick the use global light. For the distance, I'm gonna set this one to 7 pixels. For the size to 13%. And we're good with inner shadow. Now moving on to the next effect that we're going to apply, we have to tick on the drop shadow at the bottom. So this one, click on this. Okay, and then for the adjustments, click on the drop shadow. Now I'm going to set this one also to linear burn. For the opacity, I'm going to set this one to 40. For the angle, I'm going to set this one to 127. Untick the use global light as well. For the distance, set this one to 6 pixels. And for the size, I'm going to set this one to around 10. There you have it. All right, now we're good with this. And then select OK. Actually, we already created these droplets here. So yeah, I know it doesn't look realistic. So this time, I'm going to create a new layer. So go here at the bottom once again. Click on this. Create a new layer. Now with that layer selected, I'm going to find the brush tool on the toolbar. Or press B for the shortcut key. Okay. Now, for the options, I'm going to use a soft round brush. For the foreground color, change this one to white. And once set, let's create a dot on this area, all right, to create something like this. All right, so if your droplets 
looks like this we can still change the blending options okay so going to the blending options so maybe we can change this one to soft light okay so the soft light is much better for me now let's put the layer one and droplets into a one folder so i'm going to click on the layer one and then press control while holding control select water droplets and then i'm going to press control plus g or you can also select the folder icon here at the bottom now once i did that it already turned into one group so they're inside okay now the next step here is i'm going to add more droplets on it so with this group one layer selected i'm going to press ctrl plus j now we already created two copies of it now on the other group okay so let's name this one as the group two okay all right, so with this group two selected, I'm going to press Control plus T for the transformation command. Now, this time I'm going to move this one to the other side and then decrease the size of this. Create something like this and then press Enter. Now let's press V. Let's move this one near the big droplets. Okay, next one. Let's create another sample of it. So press Control plus J. For the group two copy now i'm going to set this one to group three for not to be confused okay now press v and then drag this one somewhere else something like this all right and for the size let's make it a little bit bigger than that press ctrl plus t for the transformation command let's make it bigger create something like this and then press enter okay now look at that we just created this fake water drop so on the other half i'll be keep on adding more with the same method that i did all right now we just created this fake water drops that look like a jew okay now i'm going to show you so this one is the before and this one is the after and that is how to make water drops on Surface in Photoshop.